In this video, we will cover Caesar's Gallic campaigns, his reasons for attacking Gaul, and in the next video in the series, we will cover how he conquered it. Firstly, if you do not know Roman history before this point, I suggest you watch my other videos on Roman history, as they may help give a good summary. However, if you already know the majority of that, then let's begin. Firstly, who was Caesar? Caesar was one of the most prestigious members of the Roman Senate, and by this point, had created the first triumvirate with Crassus and Pompey. The first triumvirate was a group of three Roman politicians who, with their combined power, were able to almost fully control the Senate of Rome. Now, what were Caesar's personal reasons for a war in Gaul? Caesar needed po to gain popularity if he was to keep up with his fellow triumvirs. Crassus had experienced success in the Jugurthine War already, and Pompey had had similar ex success in Pontus with the Mithridatic Wars, yet Caesar had no similar claim to such prestige. He was also heavily in debt and needed to do something worthy of a triumph in Rome if he was conti to continue being as powerful as he was at the moment. However, the Roman Senate would not accept desire for power and prestige as a cause to go to war with any other group. Caesar needed a reason to go to war that would be accepted as valid and worthy. Luckily for Caesar, many of the Gallic tribes had attacked Rome many times, even once sacking it. Furthermore, a Gallic tribe was planning an invasion into Rome very soon. This was the perfect reason for Caesar to invade. Having been given many provinces near to Gaul, he had enough loyal legionaries to do it as well. This has been our first video on Caesar's Gallic campaigns. There will be more videos coming very soon. For now, Walete et Ave SPQR!